There are six pieces of outdated actuarial advice that I am currently seeing future actuaries follow all the time. And while these pieces of advice may have been good in the past, they are no longer relevant. So in this video, you're going to learn what those six pieces of advice are and what you should actually be doing instead. I'm Bria, associate of the Society of Actuaries and founder of the Actuary Accelerator community, where we show future actuaries how to become top candidates and get their first actuarial job all without an internship. Outdated piece of advice number one is to cold email tons of actuaries in order to try to get an actuarial job. Now usually this involves the future actuary going to the actuarial directory and finding as many actuaries in their area as they can and then sending a template email to every single one of them in hopes of getting a job. Now if you are a top candidate this is absolutely not the best use of your time because you should be able to choose which companies you want to work for. You're very highly qualified and there are companies out there that are looking for someone exactly like you and also have the qualities in the job position that you are looking for. And if you haven't watched this video, make sure you do because in it, I talk about how you should be creating a list of companies that really fit the values that you're looking for. And those are the companies you should be spending your time on. If you are not a top candidate, then I highly recommend spending your time becoming a top candidate because then you're going to have more options and you're not going to have to waste time sending template emails to tons of actuaries. That's a waste of your time and theirs. Outdated piece of advice number two is to go to your school career advisor for advice on the actuarial career. And no offense to career advisors here, but usually they are trained to help with a wide variety of careers. And that means that they don't have very much specific knowledge about the actuarial career. They've probably never tried to become an actuary themselves, and they probably haven't done extensive research into the actuarial career to learn what it really takes to become a great candidate and get a job in today's competitive market. Becoming an actuary isn't easy and there's a lot that the typical career advisor doesn't know about the career. So instead of relying on them, make sure you trust in people that are actually in the industry right now so that you have all the most up-to-date and current knowledge about the actuarial career and how to be successful. By the way, going through videos on this channel, I think there's about 180 of them now, will really help you develop current and up-to-date actuarial knowledge that you would typically get from a career advisor. Outdated piece of advice number three is to pass actuarial exams as quickly as you can. Here's the problem. Passing exams is absolutely necessary, but if you are passing them as quickly as you can, then you are completely ignoring other things that you need to do in order to become a top candidate for actuarial positions later on. Things like technical skills and getting related experience are things you need to do before you even start studying for your first exam. That's why we include these in the rise candidate phase of the actuary accelerator community that's before you study for an exam now if you start your actuarial journey by studying for an actuarial exam well you're doing it completely wrong and it's not your fault because that's what everyone basically tells you to do and if you want more details on that and my reasoning make sure you go watch this video after you're done watching this one for everything you need to know about that by the way if you've been liking this video so far could you please give it a thumbs up so that it can spread to more future actuaries that need this information Thank you so, 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 so much. Outdated piece of advice number four is that getting a master's degree will drastically increase your chances of getting an actuarial job. A master's degree may help a little bit. You'll get more opportunity for internships and you might be able to get some exam credits. But is that worth the thousands of dollars that you're going to spend on tuition and the thousands of hours that you're going to spend studying and completing coursework? In my opinion, I don't think so. Internships are overrated. You don't need one. And if you want more information on that, go watch this video. And actually you can get internships while you're not even in grad school. And actually I believe that passing exams is a better way to get exam credits than just getting credit for them by doing courses in school. By actually taking the exam, you learn fully how to prepare for an actuarial exam. And that's really important for you because you wanna know that you're actually going to be able to complete these exams and you'll learn how you study best for them. Outdated piece of advice number five is to apply to hundreds of actuarial job postings. Okay, if you have to apply to hundreds of actuarial jobs just to get one or two interviews, then there's something wrong. Either your resume needs to be improved so that it better displays the qualifications that you have, or two, you actually need to go and become a bit more qualified before you're really going to get noticed by actuarial employers. If you're finding that you're applying and applying and applying but not getting anywhere, then it's most likely you need to spend your time 
time on one of those two things instead of just applying to more jobs. That's a much better use of your time because not only are you going to be increasing the probability of actually getting called back from one of your applications, but you're also going to be bettering yourself in the long run. If you need actuary resume advice, then make sure you go watch this video once you're done watching this one. Outdated piece of advice number six is to become an actuary if you love numbers and you want to get a career that pays really well. Now, I think these two statements are true about basically every single member of the actuary accelerator community and probably every single actuary. But just because you have those two desires doesn't mean that the actuarial career is good for you. It seems like whenever someone says they want a career in math, one of the first career choices that is offered to them is the actuarial career, and it is not for everyone. You have to love business, insurance, economics, finance, all that kind of stuff, and you have to be willing to really put in the effort to become a fully qualified actuary. It's not for everyone. So if you are considering the actuarial career just because you love math and you want a career that pays well, make sure you really do your research to make sure that this is actually the career you want to get into and you're willing to put in the work. Okay, so are there any tips or pieces of advice that you've been given that you're not sure are really in your best interest or the best thing for you to do? If so, make sure you ask down below in the comments and I will get back to you as soon as I can.